Hey guys, so this is our first video after being back from getting married. Hey. Yeah, it was a lovely ceremony, a really nice day, just with close family and friends, and we really enjoyed ourselves. And we're really close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to give us a little wedding present, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into the video. What are some creatures one might see in an exotic pet store in a fantasy setting? Stuff like pseudo dragons, winged cats, shock lizards, etc. Dick wolves. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what, if, what. What is a dick wolf? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> is it just a instead of fur, it's got dicks instead? Oh no. I don't know. Kobolds. Not that type of kobold. Please. Not that type. Parrot harpies, owl bears, tiny fluffy direwolves bred for generations to look like pomeranians or chihuahuas, tarantula driders. Pygmy satyrs, minotaur girls, chimera cubs when you can't decide what kind of pet you want. Hold on a minute, is that tiny darewolves just dogs? Dogs. But that for generations to look like Pomeranians. So that's it's it's, just it's, dogs? It's, it's, it's literally just dogs. <laughs> Corgodiles. Oh, he's to die for. <laughs> I'll throw a wee picture of our dog. He's a Corgi Jack Russell mix and he's... He's, he's just so to, he's to die for, to be honest with you. He's actually got an Instagram account, so he does. Yeah. Um, I'll flash that up on screen if any of you guys are interested. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but a quick message from our sponsored affiliate with Amazon. So the basic concept of how this works is we get to recommend items from Amazon, and if you choose to buy anything, Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale. It's a pretty solid win-win all around. You get stuff, we get a couple of pennies. There are no extra fees or anything like that, just Amazon gives us a small percentage of each sale for sending you there. So go ahead and check the link below to our storefront and get everything you could possibly need for tabletop role-playing games through us. Thinking about getting a new battle map, or been thinking about getting into a new system like Shadowrun or Call of Cthulhu? Get it through us. Now let's get back to the video. Magic Familiar Macaws It's like a regular macaw parrot, only much smarter and has a limited capacity for actual speech and conversation. Slightly augments your magical capabilities and very loyal to its mage. Benevolent creature, but likes the occasional chaos and enjoys playing fucked up pranks on people it likes. I what do you? Like <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of part, like birds in general. I don't mind but birds. I, but I, they, they scare me. They do freak me out. They've got that, it's a dinosaur brain in them. I know, I'm just, me out. I, not so much small, like my sister has a little blue budgie. And Aye, but he's lovely, so he is. Winter's fine, but like it's the bigger birds that scare me, yeah. like like macaws and stuff. Where, we, I'm just scared of them taking my finger where off. Where was it? We were at like a pet and zoo thing years back. And there were these owls that they had, and you know the owls that like do the oh yeah, faces. like the big owls. Yeah, with, they were yeah, fine absolutely. with you. Yeah, fine as with soon me. as I walked in, they hissed at me, yeah. and like the feathers ruffled up and all. Uh, I was like, okay, I go. You know the ones that have like and their faces. I don't know. It might have been. It might have been like the perfume I was wearing or something. Been, I don't know. Been. You never know. Fluff dragons. They do look adorable, don't they? Yeah, I'm conflicted. I love the fluff dragon, but I'm not sure if I'd want it to be a pet since that implies animal level intelligence. As for the thread, flying noodles are cool too. Yeah. I love I'm, flying yeah. noodles. I love <laughs> a flying noodle. They are pretty cool. Like. Mr. Trash Bags. Okay. In a little suburb, a Jimmy has an imaginary friend. Adults find that adorable, but other kids know that it's dangerous to cross Jimmy. His imaginary friend is a tiny shoggoth, undeveloped in his toy chest that Jimmy's explorer father brought back frozen from Antarctica. It's weak in will and power, but still strong enough. The PC plays kids trying to save their teacher, a friend, or maybe the whole neighbourhood if Shoggoth escapes. I really like that. I, I like that. I, I think that's a really cool premise for something. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Kitty Drakes. I like that. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Would they, would they be lovely or would they be horrible little creatures? Oh, it's the same with cats. I know, but cats can flip flop their emotions. So I can, I can imagine Kitty Drake's, Drake's being like a uh, toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Oh yeah, that would actually be mm. really nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Bee nabber. No, that freaks me out too much. It looks I, like feed me Seymour. Feed me Seymour. <laughs> feed me. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, it's horrible though. No, I don't <laughs> oh, like that. I that already, gives me horrors. Oh, no, I already. I'm not already not a big fan of birds anyway to begin with, and that's just. I don't no. need a. No. No, just no, no. Kentucky. An elderly and disabled eagle drake that was captured and abused by poachers, who regularly stripped him of his down and feathers for several years 
until I could no longer regrow. The day before he was scheduled to be butchered, the ring was busted and he was rescued among many other specimens. Kentucky was rehabilitated and currently dwells at the Senior Magical Beast Sanctuary, where he currently awaits adoption. His venom glands and claws were long ago harvested by his captors, and due to the regular breaking of bones and anthropy, he endured for long stretches of his life. His age-appropriate arthritis is slow, plodding movement is heavily exasperated. However, he is very gentle and affectionate and well-trained, while families with young children or other, more lively pets, may prove too rambunctious for him, he is a perfect match for the more introverted caretaker, who desires a quieter companion that is perfectly content to simply stay by their side in their home. His diet consists of meat and soft fruits. His favourite treat is a whole chicken, already slain but otherwise raw. The bone will not be a problem, but it is important that they have their feathers removed. When presented with feathered birds, Kentucky will not eat and will often wander away to a favourite corner and face it for several hours. <laughs> my heart, it's fuck, it's a fake animal and my heart is breaking. Oh, he's lovely, so he is. I don't know. but I Look like at his that, little though. chicken wings. Yeah, but I don't know. I just, I, I always feel bad for animals though. Yeah. It's hard not to feel bad for I them, know. yeah. It's akin to the real life stories of many exotic animals. Some lucky ones get rescued and are either reinstated into the wild or live the rest of their lives being taken care of. But most just die due to the abuse. Shit sucks. Yeah, I know. it's not nice. Illusory hamster. The cage is empty. Customer walks into shop with an empty cage. Customer. I wish to complain about this hamster that I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Owner. Oh yeah, the, um, wa- the water deep illusory? What's, uh, what's wrong with it? Customer. I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. (laughs) He's not dead. (laughs) That's what's wrong with it. Owner. No, no. He's, uh, he's invisible. Customer. Look, matey. I know a non-existent hamster when I see one, and I'm not looking at one right now. Owner. No, no. He's not non-existent. He's, he's invisible. Remarkable, rodent, the water deep illusory. Isn't it, I? Beautiful fur. Customer. The fur don't enter into it. It ain't there. Owner. No, 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 no. He's invisible. Customer. All right, then. How rude of these birds. No. Customer. All right, then. If he's invisible, I'll make him appear. Shouting at the cage. Hello, Mr. Hamtar. <laughs> <laughs> got a lovely fresh seed for you if you show. Owner casts minor illusion to make a squeaking noise. (laughs) Owner. There, he squeaked. Customer. No, he didn't. That was you casting spells. Owner. I never. (laughs) Customer. Yes, you did. Owner. I never, never did anything. Fluffy raptors. I love that picture. (laughs) He's a wee smiley face and all. It's great. Domesticated mimics. Which are actually just empty treasure chests. That's just sad, to be honest with you. <laughs> what was that one we did a while back where the dwarf and he kept kicking open the doors? <laughs> and and was a got, mimic. Uh, people got really annoyed with him. It's like, why do you always have to kick over the, n- the door? It's like, well, you could okay. be a mimic. You never know. <laughs> and then they got really upset and they kicked him out or whatever. And then a few sessions later, the DM actually did put in a mimic <laughs> door. <laughs> door. Yeah, and they didn't kick it through that time or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that was a good See one. See the one underneath that? Googly eyes pasted on as well, like the fantasy version of a pet rock. (laughs) Oh, that's quality. This one doesn't have a comment on it, but it's cute. Yeah, it is. Look, it's wee eyes and also wee pets. Looks like my cat when I pet him with his tail wrapped around him. It does, it looks like Lucky. Yeah, Yeah. it does. Lucky gives that face. I know some people complain about feathered dinosaurs, but I love the idea of ancient murder chickens. They are pretty cool. Like, sure, he has has one auspicious. doesn't he, doesn't I think it's suspicious. Yeah, somebody got, has in the all scouting party. Somebody has chicken, which is just a raptor with feathers. Which is pretty cool. I, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan. To be honest with you. And the thing is, you can almost you can put them into almost any set, and it kind yeah. of works. Yeah. You know. Somebody posted a picture of a green tax, and I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good one. So, Monster Manuel, this is a dragon, senor. <laughs> no, Manuel, that's a lizard. You put those wings on there with duct tape. 
No sea is dragon. <laughs> he set fire to your enemies with his his nasty breath weapon. <laughs> I can't, I'm not doing this all, this is so no, hard. No, keep going, keep going, it's good, it's good. Only five silver, please. <laughs> I sound Chinese. Yeah, well, it was more Chinese, but keep going, don't worry. Oh, for, well, it's still better than 5,000 gold the wizard guild wanted for a red dragon. Oh, a yeah, real yeah. dragon. <laughs> Gracias, senor. Thank you for visiting, and now I'm Russian. <laughs> Thank you for visiting Monster Manuel's Macardo de Montserrat. <laughs> See, I brings you a grief on. He's a very hungry. Manuel, that's a house cat with a bird mask. He's a baby grief on. I think they do not grow their wings until they are maybe three years old. It's okay, man. <laughs> what? Monster Manuel, I am Captain Damos of the City Watch. I've been receiving complaints regarding some of your merchandise. What seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> Take this beholder here. It appears to be a chicken with a number of discharged magic wands struck in. <laughs> with tangle foot good. No, he's a beholder. He's just sleeping so you cannot see the eyes. <laughs> Why is it clucking and eating insects? Sometimes they sleepwalk. <laughs> Beholders don't have legs. These ones just born like this. A wizard do it, maybe? <laughs> Manuel... This is... Uh, where did you even get this many used magic wands? You know what? Never mind. What about this nymph you've got here? This is just a naked <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? This is a naked woman manacled to the tree. Manacled to a tree. In fact, is this your sister? <laughs> no, senor. This is a dryad. She's very pretty, you know? <laughs> you want to buy her? 20 silver. <laughs> Si, senor. I am a dryad. No, don't you think I am pretty? <laughs> Fools! You have walked into my trap. Now behold the terrible might of my newest minion. The dreaded... Uh, that is, the terrible... Oh, come on. Manuel, what the fuck is that thing? It is a mind flare, senor. No, Manuel. That is not a mind flare. I am reasonably sure that it is a man in a gimp suit <laughs> eating a plate of calamari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you did not feed them enough brains. He got hungry and started eating the own face. You, 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 what? You should read the instructions more careful next time, senor. <laughs> That's one of the best clean tags I've came across in a long I'm time. I'm so sorry if I offended. <laughs> I, know. I don't know about you guys, but I, I do have a bit of a soft spot for old Kentucky. He seemed like a lovely thing, sweet Yeah. He just wanted a nice, sweet, easy life, you know. Yeah. I, I really had, like the Corgadal. Corgadal was really cool. And you're a big crocodile lover anyway. Yeah. And we've got a Corgi. And yeah. our Corgi's just... I, I honestly, Two in one! Yeah, I know, exactly. I just think our dog is just the most... Like, I'm sure everyone's like that. No, my dog's the most adorable dog. But no, no but our dog, dog is, is the, the most, most adorable, adorable one. <laughs> you know, and I, I don't know. I've, I, I spoil the life out of him. But, you know, it's okay. You know, I don't mind doing it. But, like, let us know what your ones were down below. Like, you know, your ideas for magical creatures that would end up in this sort of shop. You know, and if we get enough good ones, we'll do another video this time next week of your ones. I think it'll be pretty cool. There's some really good ideas here. And, like, you, know, you can almost do anything you really yeah. want. Which I think is really fun. Yeah. But, look, like, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's nice to be back and all. And remember to subscribe. Check out the models. Check out all the links down below. All the links below. down below. You guys know how it is. Um, Again... I would ask, please share the videos. It helps us out a lot, and we're very close to the 100,000 mark, so it does help us out big time. Yeah. But until then, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Senor.